Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. This is Daniela from Ocean Jasper and I'm so delighted to offer you this pick a card today because we're going to find out your person's feelings for you, whoever you have in mind. So let's have a look at our piles. We have the butterfly and snowdrop in pile number one with the black turn oom stave and the suwelu rune. Then we have the horse and bluebell in pile number two with the header of um, stave and the Isa rune. Finally, we have the badger and jinko in pile number three with the elder of um, stave and the feihu rune. So take a moment to make your choice. If you're drawn to more than a pile, that's okay too. And when you're done, you can find the timestamps in the info box below that will bring you directly to the beginning of your reading. If you like the content, I would highly appreciate if you could support my channel. Simply leave a thumbs up, drop a comment, share, subscribe and hit the notification bell down below if you haven't done it yet so you won't miss any of my new videos. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can find my email in the info box below together with my prices. And if you're interested in my own set, they are available for sale. Thanks for being here and I'll see you at the beginning of your reading. Hello my loves and welcome to your reading. If you have picked the butterfly and the snowdrop in pile number one with the Sowelu rune and the black thorn album stave so we're going to be using the mystic fairy tarot deck today if you are interested to buy this deck you can find the amazon affiliate link in the info box below so if you buy from there you're also supporting me because i will receive a small commission from amazon at any extra cost from you we're going to be accepting reverse cards as well, just to make the reading very complete. And I feel that it allows us to read the energies a bit better. So this is so exciting. We're going to find out the feelings of your person. So please and thank you dear spirit. We're just trying to understand anything that we are allowed to know about your person's feelings, please and thank you. We don't want to be too nosy, but still, anything that can be beneficial for this connection is absolutely welcoming. Welcome. Okay, for pile number one, please and thank you, their feelings for you. Their feelings for you. <clears throat> we have the justice in the reverse position. The queen of pentacles. I forgot how much I love these cards. And the knight of cups in the reverse position. Clarified by the temperance in reverse. The two of cups. And the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse position. As always, I have to remind you that these are general readings. Therefore, it may or may not entirely resonate with all of you. Just a portion of the video might resonate with you and not the rest. So always listen by um, following your intuition. Take what feels right and leave the rest. Now, because it's a general reading, there's going to be pop out loads of different scenarios so you'll have to be able to understand which one is talking about your situation so we have the justice in reverse and the temperance in reverse so this person is not feeling very mm, relaxed right now is not feeling at ease is not very content about the situation because it seems like something unfair had happened either in their life or in your life or between the two of you so this is something that you'll have to figure out but it ca i can see that they they're feeling like perhaps like the victim of an injustice and that is making them feel quite um disturbed emotionally okay inside it's hard to find an inner balance in right now in their life so this could even be fear of doing anything that is unfair towards you because you would just not sit right for them they would never want to harm you 
because this would not sit right for them but I do see that with these Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Cups they pretty much see you as marriage material okay the Queen of Pentacles is a solid loyal trustworthy partner that is committed to a long-lasting relationship somebody that is able and willing to provide for their connection for the marriage partnership whatever that is nourishing it and being very in tune with the needs of the other person. Somebody that is willing to participate to the evolution and growth and the abundance of this connection. Um, and also, yeah, the Queen of Pentacles is just fantastic because it takes care of other people's needs in any way possible, especially in a very practical way. So she will be the one, you know, preparing a warm soup for you, I always say, or getting, um, finding an extra bed for you to sleep that night if you are in need or helping you with your taxes or, you know, just giving you concrete advices where you can find that particular object that you're looking for or creating comfort and warmth in your life and providing you with food. Mm, anything even sewing your clothes anything that can in a material concrete way provide you with support and warmth so she is not the type of person that will simply cover you with sweet words she will be fixing things for you she you know so the two cups is definitely telling me that they have deep sincere genuine feelings for you and also they would be willing and happy to make the choice to be with you to exchange these cups of love to be honest and open about their feelings with you and to start a romantic uh, journey with you okay so definitely the feelings are there and they are right in the middle of the reading so these are these are important these this is the core of the reading then anything that happens outside of it i feel that it has more of a temporary um, effect even though these two particular cards are major arcana so these are the ones that will have to be you know receiving more attention but we'll go back there again now let's have a look at this we have the knight of cups in the reverse position and the ace of pentacles in the reverse position so this is telling me that they are feeling possibly unable right now to make a romantic action towards you and that they have to delay it it's not that they do not want to have it they do not want to give it to you or they do not want to be with you but right now possibly because of these turmoils that are happening in their life right now it doesn't seem like the best moment to nourish and provide for a connection they wouldn't be able to show you the, the best version of themselves not that in relationship that is the only side that you can see in people but certainly it wouldn't be nice to start a relationship when one of them is feeling depressed or is going through financial troubles uh, or uh, something really bad happened in their family like it doesn't they wouldn't be emotionally ready for this that's what i'm noticing with these knight of cups the feelings are there they just cannot act upon it the knights always bring action but being in reverse they have to delay this action and the ace of pentacles as well in reverse talks to me about a delay in a new beginning but the ace of pentacles is not just an idea the ace of pentacles being the pentacle suits the suits of the material um things in life and also the suits that speaks about money and luxuries and um, like tangible thing the tangible things in life okay also speaks about work but this is all the earth energy of life okay so we're not just being up in the air this new beginning is tangible is practi practical okay so we are talking about making it happen unfortunately it has to be delayed slightly okay so the idea is there they do want to start a relationship with you or they if you guys are already together they do want to commit in 
in uh, sorry I have a million sentences in my head right now I'm trying to pick the right one mm, they want to commit towards the future of this connection but right now they have to delay so if you are already together and you were thinking about having a kid or moving in together or starting a project together maybe starting a company together or um, yeah moving out of the country etc or going for a trip um or renovating the house this seems that needs to be delayed because of a particular injustice that is happening here that is making them feel pretty much agitated so we're going to figure that out but it's amazing how the oums and the oracle already knew about it because the because the black thorn do speak about adversities and challenges and also especially talks about um a very sudden turn of events so something um like a big obstacle seem to have appeared out of nowhere so this is what has been creating agitation in your person very sudden change that did not bring good news but with the butterfly and the snowdrop there is hope because this card specifically does speak about coming out of a period of hardship and finally being able to see good days and the Soelu rune to speak about having again that energy that vitality the vitality and the motivation that inner flame okay to continue and having hope for the future and working towards it and um, you know being excited about life again full of energy again okay so there is definitely hope but right now your person is definitely going through a hard time and i feel that for the majority of you these problems are actually not associated with you because they hold you uh, in their highest esteem with this queen of pentacles you can tell that you are the main person in their life the biggest protagonist there is no other people that they are like torn with and with these two of cups is like they already have made a promise towards you and uh, yeah they have already made their choice and these feel like the pillar like i said of the reading so let's get more cards, please, and thank you for poll number one. It feels like things haven't been able to flow as they wanted as well with these temperance in reverse. We have empress in the reverse position. We have the Queen of Swords in the reverse position. Uh oh. We have the Page of Pentacles, that they call it the Knave of Pentacles in the reverse position. The Five of Wands. The Five of Swords in the reverse. So it feels like this is explaining a bit better what is going on with this person what type of adversity they are encountering for some of you i perceive that your person had to deal with a partner from their past that is perhaps coming back to ask for money and uh, or maybe they pulled them into court that's why the justice um in reverse and and that's why, yeah, the Empress and the Queen of Swords, this is a person that is not being generous, doesn't want to, is not willing to share things anymore, it wants to, uh, you know, probably take more than what it belongs to them. So I feel that your person ha is dealing right now with an ex-partner that is being quite stingy and mean, unfair, Perhaps he's using as well very harsh words and he's bringing a bit of negativity and he's trying to steal the abundance away from your person. It's like this person could not accept this ex-partner of the of your 
loved one is not able to accept that your person is falling moving on and enjoying life at its best okay so there is a few conflicts and arguments going on right now with these five of wands there is this uh, back and forth there is pulling um you know like pulling the same objects to decide which one uh who is going to grab it let's say they have bought a television and they both share um they both share the same the finances are back at the time so now it's it's a it's a war about who's going to get what page of pentacles in, in the reverse is telling me that there is some childish energy hmm page of pentacles in the reverse so yeah this person is really not being cooperative collaborative positive and mature about their possession i feel so it's a bit of an, an ego battle for sure with your person five of swords in the reverse and the dash i feel that eventually things are going to get better simply because your person is going to give up is going to disassociate from this x of them is going to withdraw is going to give them whatever they want and so that they can finally have it done close that chapter have the closure not hearing from them anymore like they want this chapter of their life to be done and dusted with they want to embrace the change but in order to embrace this new beautiful chapter with you they have to fully be done with the past so the death does speak about that transformation that big change that um you know kind of have um close the door towards the past and embrace the new and it's quite of a i don't know yeah badass energy to be honest with this debt is like your person will come out of this feeling victorious because they have not engaged with their ex-partner I know that it's a very specific situation. It might not necessarily resonate with all of you, which is why I always suggest to come and get a private reading with me if you want to. And so that you'll be sure that it will resonate with your situation. But let me see if there's any other scenario that we can see here. Even if it's not an ex-partner, that is just an example. It could even be a relative, like a sibling, and they're competing for material possessions or even an old friend they bought some land together it could even be a friend of yours that i don't know used to have a crush for this person and now that you are getting with them they are they're not handling it well and they want to sabotage this connection maybe they are competing with you to get with your person but i feel that it is simply not going to plan as they want so this is the turmoil that is going on let's see now for your person what is the prospect of the future with you what is going to be the thing they're looking forward to with you what are they looking forward with you So what makes them happy when they think about the future with you basically you kind of want to know where the energies are flowing after all of this turmoil what is going to happen after oh we got the sun i cannot not get excited when i see the sun especially when we were asking what's happening after this storm and there it is in all these um in all his beauty the sun shining and spreading all of its 
light the king of swords upright so definitely a person that is willing to make plans a person that knows where he's going a person that has mental clarity a page of cup as well so somebody that is finally emotionally available willing to um, take uh, any, any necessary steps towards it this is flirty energy okay the page of cups is very innocent genuine vibe or someone that just want to express their love with you you know in a very light-hearted way so even with some poems or songs or bringing you to the movies or having a picnic um outdoors or yeah just just um very light-hearted very light-hearted energy let's see what else um what else they feel for you what else they do feel for you because i understand that yeah, we've been asking their general feelings so obviously this big turmoil has happened and came out to the surface but how are they exactly feeling about you how are they feeling about you please and thank you just last three cards perhaps the fool in the reverse okay this is nervous energy to start something new feeling like they're not fully prepared and um, they do not have the experience perhaps in this matter maybe they have never had a girlfriend or a boyfriend before or the circumstances were different uh, so there is this bit of a nervous energy. Normally the fool is the perfect mix between fear and the excitement. Being in the reverse, there's, there's a little more fear, okay? There is a little more um, desire to be very cautious and not impulsive and not being overly naive. So even though they feel very happy with you and they have mental clarity, they know that they like you and they want to flirt with you, perhaps they still want to be kind of cautious about the next steps. We have nevertheless um, a very committed energy with the Knight of Pentacles. So this is somebody that again wants to commit with you wants to provide for you wants to put actual concrete tangible effort and energies um uh, towards this connection this is somebody that as well is very happy to go slowly okay somebody that is not um sorry let me try to fix the light a bit somebody that is not interested in rushing forward they want to and add uh, enjoy the bliss of every single moment spent with you without burning the stages do you say that like without necessarily jump ahead two three stones two three steps they want to be very mindful about this connection and and take it slow we have the ten of wands okay so i can i can definitely not end the reading with the ten of ones because we need to find out more about this so there is some type of burdens here but it feels like okay so the burdens are the reason why they want to go very slowly because they still have the burden of how badly the previous connection perhaps ended so they do not want to repeat the same lessons, the same mistakes from the past. Um, they do not want to get outside of a relationship feeling depleted and exhausted. Or perhaps they are right now feeling depleted and exhausted because of the previous relationship. And that's why they still want to take it very easy, okay, with you. But they don't want to like move in too fast, have kids too fast or being official too fast, introducing parents too fast. It doesn't mean that they are not serious about you because we got lots of pentacle cards and lots of, you know, even the, the, the king of swords is a very good energy to find because it means that they are clear and they are thinking about the future. They know what they want to create with you, but still not in an impulsive way okay so it feels especially with the king of swords that they would rather make decisions based on their logic rather than rather than on their heart it doesn't mean that they do not have feelings because they do have plenty of them 
and we saw that with two cups, page of cups, the sun as well. But they feel that the best thing to do is to move forward with caution. Yes. Um, so, okay, at the bottom of the deck, there is a chariot. So this is another confirm that things are about to progress with this person. You're going to be seeing movement. You're going to uh, see a development in this connection. And it's definitely going in the direction that you want it to go. So I'm super, super excited for you. And I feel... I'm going to grab a couple of terms just because... Maybe this can give you a few details of what's about to happen as well. Okay, we just got a few. Let's grab more. What's this? Are you brave enough to be weird? There is a little... Mm, I don't know even how to call this, but this reminds me of party time and celebration. There is an R that to me reminds me of how giving a person a new chance, you know, starting fresh and new. So it could even be that for a small portion of you, the person that they had issues with and conflicts, it was you and you had some type of big fight, but now... There is going to be a new chance here. The honeydew, this definitely um, speak about uh, being sweet with each other, forgiving each other if there is need, or definitely being affectionate, expressing their feelings, being nourishing towards each other. I'm going to grab a few more. It feels like your person also likes you if, for being unique, for being, for being yourself. There is a little, how do you call this? Um, why only the sound that it makes come out in my head? Cuckoo doodle doo. Um, a rooster, a rooster. Okay, so this talks about new mornings, reawakening, being excited again, full of vitality again. Okay, and also want to pursue you. We have a zodiac symbol that is. Da -da -da -da. Oh my goodness. Is this Capricorn? Yes. And then we have a little doll uh, shoe. This reminds me of Cinderella. So, I don't know if you left something at their apartment. I feel like that will be the best excuse as well for you two to meet again. They have something perhaps that belongs to you and they want to give it back to you. Or this can also be talking about getting ready for a date. And we have a little... The base of a button... And because it's a circle, this talks to me about being able to have closure, closing an old chapter, or yeah, definitely, definitely finding, you know, having the answers to the questions that you had. There is, as well in my hand, there is a tree of life. So it feels like you feel like family to this person of yours, and you want to create. They want to develop deep roots with you and uh, reach the tallest skies. So there's definitely lots of hope and desire to grow with you. A few letters as well. N, K, L, and J. So this could be the initials of your name or letters that are within your name or maybe... um. A place that you used to go uh, to have a drink or a club or something like that um, so I'm gonna leave it there thank you so much for watching up until now I really hope it resonated drop a comment uh, even just to write down the palette you have chosen or to write down your thoughts I listen and answer to each one of your comments 
and don't forget to support this channel if you like the content there's millions of ways that you can do so find them as well in the info box below if you want to know more this album stave is available for sale if you are interested i make them myself they are sustainable made from fallen branches so no trees is got hurt by this process and they are as well delivered with plastic free parcels if you would like to get this deck you can find the amazon affiliate link in the info box below and that is going to support me as well and yes just plenty of ways that you have to support me if you wish thanks again for being here and i'll see you very soon in the next video bye bye guys much love hello my loves and welcome to your reading if you have picked the horse and the bluebell in pile number two with the eyes of rune and the header of Wimstave. we are about to use the mystic fairy tarot deck which is going to give us both upright and reverse cards if you would like to grab this beautiful deck for yourself there is my link in the info box below where you can buy it and if you do use that link to buy it you're also supporting me because it is an affiliate link so i will be receiving a tiny little commission from amazon with every little purchase that being said let's focus on your person's feelings for you for pile number two please and thank you anything that we can find out about this person's feelings for you without being overly nosy but yes anything that can be beneficial for this connection would be great so we have the horse and the bluebell which has the keyword modest fortitude we also have the header and the eyes so a lot of different scenarios pop in my mind with that combination mainly i do see that this person might feel right now a little bit stuck yeah okay we're gonna grab we're gonna get these cards six of pentacles seven of cups in reverse and the judgment in the reverse position so i was saying a little bit stuck with the ice because just like the ice like they feel frozen stuck unable to make a move possibly and um unable to make a choice perhaps <clears throat> But with the modest fortitude card this is telling me that nevertheless they're gonna be uh, continue putting work towards this connection continue hoping in this connection knowing that they will eventually find the reward after some time so then it's not a giving up card whatsoever the header tells me that they do feel a strong connection with you this can be sometimes a relationship or warm actually so they do feel that there is a hope for a connection with you in some cases for some of you you remind them of someone that has passed away or they have just um, gone through a loss in their in his or her family so um, that could be the reason why they are feeling a little bit stagnant right now and they wouldn't necessarily feel like um charging forward and that's why yeah the isa that's why the isa room we're gonna find out more so we got the six of pentacles this definitely tells me that there is reciprocal feelings and the beautiful equal give and take so the attention that you give them they give it back to you that the same amount of thoughts that you um, have for them they have it for you um the same desire to for their well-being they have it for you so it's very balanced Although with these seven of cups, there is like an impossibility to act upon their dreams right now. Old or feeling overwhelmed by too many options as well, not knowing which one to choose. And feeling scared that whatever they're going to choose is going to be the wrong move. So they're waiting for the awakening time. They're, wait they're waiting for 
receiving more understanding and more clarity they're possibly waiting as well to hear their soul call right now they are afraid to misjudge the situation as well oh so for some of you they might have the impression that things are reciprocated but they are terribly scared that they are wrong that they made the wrong call in this situation and that in fact um they are deluded with this seven of cups that is just they're seeing what they would like to see but it's not really reality, it's a distorted version of reality basically. So this is what they're scared of and that could be the reason why they're stuck and they're not making a move. But nevertheless, like I said, they're not giving up on this because they do feel that it is a strong connection indeed. Let's grab more cards, this is so exciting. Probably this is not your first pick a card that you're watching, so you know the gist, you know how it works. Only take whatever resonates and leave the rest. But if you ever desire to get a private reading with me, let me know. There is my email and prizes in the info box below. If you want to make sure that it is talking about your specific situation. Feel free as well to swap the roles if you feel that they, if we feel that we're speaking about you instead of them, uh, etc. Feel free to just switch it up and adjust it to your situation. So pile number two, their feelings for pile number two, please and thank you. We have the knave of swords in the reverse position which is a page of swords so this is inability to speak about their feelings king of cups inability to express their feelings right now but they want to six of swords okay the six of swords is moving away from agitated waters but also moving on. So I wonder if for some of you, your person is realizing that this is just a big disillusionment and that, they, that it would be wiser to move on, to move, move away from this because they got the wrong idea. And it feels like they are definitely not ready to have this conversation with you with the Page of Swords and Let me get more cards. Let me get more cards. Okay, so if you guys have had some troubled past, they're definitely open to move away from it, to move on from it. It feels like for some of you, this person has never, for the majority of you, this person has never communicated clearly, but they always have reciprocated uh your feelings so it could be that they are aware they are aware of your feelings for some of you and they just have never reciproc never told you that they were actually reciprocating them king of cups this is definitely desire to have something serious with you desire to open up their heart towards you desire to be romantic with you but something is blocking them with these seven of cups in reverse. Again, like I said, either the fear that you have moved on, you have you have decided to step away from this because you were having high hopes for this connection, but nothing ever happened. So you decided to change the gear to just, um, yeah, in trend be interested in someone else because you do have options um i feel that they know it that there's lots of different options for you and they're not the only person interested in you so i'm definitely seeing a very 
yeah, a few different scenarios here. Let's clarify, let's get more cards, okay? So in one way, like I said, it could be yes, they are feeling stuck and stagnant because they are afraid that it's only a dream of theirs, that it's all in their mind, that is not reality, that you're not interested. They wish you would reciprocate, but they think that it's all in their mind. So this is one option and they're considering because they find it so hard to talk about it, they're considering the idea to move away from it. Because something is telling them that this is the wrong call. Or for some others of you, they recognize that if they do not speak up their feelings with you, you are going to choose someone else. And you are going to move on if they do not make that big romantic move towards you. So let's see what are their intentions, please. And thank you for Palambutu. What are their intentions? Because, yeah, you could be the one that is getting tired of them. Because if they're not doing anything, you'll be like, well, what's the point uh, staying on hold? I'll... I'll go date someone else, you know, that is braver to express their feelings towards me. Because the King of Cups is very good with words, but also not so good with actions, not so good, as in not always, but in some cases, especially in this scenario, it feels like it could be a person that is very charming, very love lovable, very kind, very sweet, but also it, it, it doesn't really offer any practical uh, development for the connection. It doesn't really ask you on a date, doesn't really uh, turn things real. Okay, it just remains in that dreamy world. But um, obviously, someone can get tired of it if it lasts for too long and nothing tangible happens. Nine of Swords. Okay, so they had some fears and anxiety that has been blocking them. Uh, but now they're getting rid of them. So that is very, very good news. Although they are still kind of afraid of what it, what might happen. Okay, tower in reverse. This is fear that if they're about to express their feelings to you, or if they, if they are serious in this connection with you, they'll have to let go of something from the past that represented their foundation. For some of you, it could be something very simple, as in letting go of their childhood, embracing adulthood. For some of you, it could be simply like, yeah, letting go of the security that their family had for them, like letting go of their, um, uh, of the bedroom in which they were raised and grew up, and move on to the house that they're gonna share with their loved one. Okay, so for some other of you, it could be bigger, like having to let go of a job or a country, having to move out entirely, or having to let go of a of a circle of friends. Um, it could be fear of how the people around you are going to re react because maybe what they're about to do with you is something completely different from the tradition. Let's say you were raised in India <clears throat> and your family for consecutive generation has always been having arranged marriage but now you are the first one that decides to go on a relationship because um, you're in love with them and you don't really care from what caste they belong to or I mean I don't want to be sound judgmental or offensive I don't know too much about it so maybe I, I might pick the wrong words for it but yeah, there is this fear of what consequences are going to be caused by this decision. But I can tell that they are 
those worries are dissipating okay they're less and less worried about the consequences and they know that the foundation in which they're sitting they're not so stable actually so um it doesn't Mm, it doesn't matter so much if they lose it it's much better to create something new and solid the tower reverse could even be fear of letting go of like toxic habits for for some of them that were uh, their comfort zone for a long time but then if they decide to be serious about a relationship they have to move on from them let's see what else please and thank you could even be letting go of the of the old version of this connection which for some of you could have been friendship okay this is a massive fear when you when you break down a friendship to start a relationship with this person obviously um there is fear of what if you are going to lose the original version forever um Seven of Wands in the reverse position. Clarified by the Queen of Swords in reverse. Mm. Yeah, it's like... There could be a motherly figure that is not going to be too happy about their decision and they would have to fight for their values and their principles and basically walk over her wishes for them if they had to, if they had to be serious about this connection. That's why there is this fear of have making the wrong call with the judgment in reverse. That's why they're stuck. I feel that there is external conditions, external circumstances that are affecting this person. That's why as well the Seven of Cups like difficulties to make a decision, having way too many options. Mm. Let me see. I started seeing things. Yeah. It's like they don't have their own voice with this page of swords in reverse as well. And there, there is someone having a much bigger influence in their life. It could as well be that their father is supporting one choice and their mother is supporting another choice. Um, yeah, six swords. So... They would love to move on from this con confusion. That's what I'm noticing. Yeah, they would love to move on from this indecision and finally being able to choose what's right for them. Let me just brighten up the situation here a bit. Okay. Okay, feelings for pal number two, please and thank you. Their person's feelings for them. Their person's feelings for them, please and thank you. For some of you, they might be scared of uh, um, starting something with you if you remind them so much of a person that they used to be with or somebody that has passed away. So they're wondering whether they should, whether this is actually a sign that they should be with you or if it's a sign that they should move on because they're still attached to that situation. Three of swords in reverse. This is healing from heartbreak. So yes, it could be healing a loss or healing a past relationship. Five of Wands in reverse. This is making peace after a conflict. Could be as well making peace um, regarding an internal conflict. I definitely see indecision and internal conflicts here for this person. External influences, like I said, feeling stuck and stagnant. Okay, so what are they about to do? What is going to be their next move? What is going to be their next move? 
this is obviously based on the current energies, so everything can change as well. But let's see, based on now, what is gonna be their next move? Based on how the circumstances are right now. Oh, eight of pentacles. They're going to decide to work on this in four of pentacles. So they are going to create a new foundation, a new stable uh, structure for themselves with these four of pentacles that is going to give them security, that is going to make them feel safe, that is going to feel like home. They want to work on this. They want to work on a solid relationship. They do not like the idea of you being going with someone else, of you choosing someone else. So they're going to work on this. And it's funny how the Eight of Pentacles has a very, very similar energy with the Horse and Bluebell because it does talk about working every single day with, the, with modest, modesty and knowing that eventually they will be rewarded. If they are stubborn, basically. And it doesn't matter if they can't um, see success immediately. They will just keep keep going and keep showing up until they can manifest what they want. Knight of Pentacles again, this this energy of committing being really slow and steady. So again, though I can see that yes, they want to work on this, yes, they want to make it stable, but yeah, the energy is lower than you could possibly imagine. Because the Knight of Pentacles is a, is the slowest knight of the whole deck, but if it's in reverse, it's even slower. So it's a little bit. Mm. inhibited overly cautious let's see what is this clarified by the empress in the reverse position okay so this could be that they're waiting until they have their finances in order or until they they will know that they will be able to provide for something new. Okay, so it feels to me that this person want to show you that they are there for you, that they are present every single day. Perhaps they will bring you gifts every single day. They will show up. They will give you a phone call every single day. They will help you out. But the big move or act of actually asking you out or if you're ready to get her, um, doing the next big move, whether that is for some of you getting married or moving in together or having a child, or, you know, mm, buying, buying a house or starting a project together, like one of the, those big moves, you have to wait because your person feel like they have to attract more abundance before or they have... They have to grow a bit more before being ready for that big step. But there's going to be regular effort with this person, 100%. Also, like I said, there is healing from heartbreak. So that could be the reason as well why they are delaying a new beginning. Some of the cards are similar to pile number one. So if you were... Uh, drawn to pile number one as well i would suggest to have a look there if there's anything uh, that you need to hear there as well the strength card so yes they want to be strength they, they, they i mean they want to be strong they want to move past the difficulties from previous relationship they want to heal the grief they they want to open up their heart again if they got betrayed in the past. Because there's a few conflicts card here. Five of Swords. The Five of Wands as well. Mm. But yeah, it feels like this is more mostly talking about 
having that inner strength to overcome those inner conflicts as well and that mean voice inside of themselves telling them you're not good enough you can't compete with the other people because they're much better than you are But also the five of swords remind me of someone that because he's Aquarius energy, so someone that is has the strength to be unique, to be themselves, to break the rules, to disappoint others if needed. Okay, even if their family doesn't agree with this, they are going to have the strength to um yeah, make a choice that they are not happy with. After all, it's their life okay it's their own life is not their parents life so they're gonna move on from these conflicts i feel let's see what else another couple of cards for pile number two please and thinking then we're gonna get some charms as well Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. They probably wonder. Mm, ten of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Wands in the reverse. So. Either there is a part of themselves that sometimes wonder if this is worthy or not. So that little mean voice inside of themselves or that external person that is having a massive influence with them is telling them this is not worthy. This is not going to bring you fruit. This is just a waste of time for you. You're going to get hurt from this and it's going to take forever to heal. It is not going to end well. You should stop communicating with this person. You should stop talking with them. You should stop trying to pursue this. So I feel that this is a massive reason why they've been stuck and why they've, moved, they've been moving so slowly with you. Even though with these four of pentacles, they don't want to let go of you. They don't want you to choose another partner and they want to work in this connection but um, yeah and and they do want to overcome these internal conflicts they do want to overcome the uh, difficulties that either family or friends are putting them um how do you say the difficulties that they are facing with their family and friends they want to overcome them but this energy is still pretty much strong there it could be that they do want they do not want to talk with you about it and that could be the reason why they ate once in reverse and that they just want to heal by themselves and once they are fully healed because the ten of swords does stop does speak about the end of the dark night of the soul and and feeling hope again for a new rebirth so it could be that before putting energy towards something new, they, they want to make sure that they're fully healed. That could be the reason why they're holding back communication right now. There is a page of cups at the bottom of the deck. So I just want you to know the feelings of this person are genuine, okay? You do not have to doubt this. I do feel that, that they're definitely considering the near future um or the far, far away future like a much more solid opportunity for the two of you to be serious like the present seemed to be a little stuck and a little too full of conflicts for a reason or another they are working through them but if you have the hope that things are gonna massively change from a day to another like this week it is probably unlikely because there's a lot that this person have to unpack now we're gonna grab some charms. How is your person feeling about you, please? And thank you. What do we have? 
A little pencil that is not sharpened. So this talk about difficulties of communication. There is two kids kissing each other. So again, this reminds me of the two of cups and the the desire to connect with you, to have a relationship with you. Genuine feelings for sure, like I said. So then also we have hug me. Oh my goodness. This I cannot show you closer because my lens is fixed. But these two Dinos are so cute because they want to hug each other, but their arms are just too tiny, so they can't wrap them around the other dinosaur body. So this talks about the limitation that your person have. They want to be with you, but they are stuck like we saw with the Isa rune and with the other cards as well. So yes, they are very, very hopeful for the future, but right now they're a little bit stuck. They want to have a new chance with you with the R okay so they do hope that there's going to be a new opportunity in the near future or in the far away future for the two of you and that there will be better condition for this kind of situation to blossom there is a fist with two flags i don't know exactly what symbol does this represent but for me it reminds me of strength and desire to be victorious vic victorious and successful so they're definitely not giving up like we saw there is a button and this talks to me about wanting to fix things okay there is a scream this is the munch do you say munch painting of the of the scream so there is definitely big fears here Okay, there's even terror. And we did see the nano sword. So either it could be mental illness, it could be anxiety, it could be stress, it could be insomnia, fear, you know, general worries. Okay, then we have a bunch of letters. There is P, U, N, another N, and F. So, oh, I do see fun there. Uh, obviously, this do not necessarily mean to create a word. This could simply be the initials of your names or it could be letters that are inside your names or places where you met in the past and things like that or which you might be meeting in the future whatever they remind you of and then there's a little yellow bead this um it tells me that <laughs> this is like a collection of the tools this is the first bead in order to make a bracelet so it's like they feel like there is something that they don't have all the tools yet in order to make this bracelet. That they do not have all the tools yet in order to make this relationship a real thing just yet. But they're very hopeful because the yellow is a very bright color. Reminds me of the sun, of the energy and vitality, the desire to, yeah, be optimistic. The, you know like decision to be optimistic about the future so i feel that there is definitely hope there are definitely genuine feelings this person is definitely gonna work for this connection but there is a lot to unpack so maybe it's a good thing to kind of wait for a better time in the future obviously it's up to you the decision but yeah, I really hope that this reading somehow resonated with you. Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you wouldn't mind to support my channel, every single gesture of yours, like a like, um, thumbs up, a comment, share, a subscription, all of that, it means the absolute word for me. And you can find lots of other ways in the info box below. If you, for example, would like to get the OM Stave, they are available for sale and they are sustainable. I do not hurt any tree to make them and they've been delivered with a plastic free package and all of that. So I'll tell you more about them maybe in a short or 
somewhere in the comments or I'll add them back up. I'll open up my shop again so you'll be able to see all the infos there. Uh, right now is on pause because I'm updating all my offers. So that being said, I wish you the best with this connection. I hope to see you soon in the next video. Plenty of hugs to you. Much love. Hello my loves and welcome to your reading. If you have picked the Badger and Jinko in pile number 3 with the Elder Oum Save and the Fei Hu Rune. We're going to be using the Mystic Fairy Tower deck and shuffle it in camera. We're going to be accepting the reverse cards as well. If you would like to get this deck for yourself, if you like it, you can find my Amazon affiliate link in the info box below. And by buying it from that link, you're also supporting me with no extra cost from your side. So let's see your person's feelings. I can definitely tell that with the Badger and the Jinko, this person might have hurt you in the past. Possibly because of some inner wounds that they haven't been able to heal so they have projected their suffering onto you without necessarily wanting it for some of you was not intentional for some others maybe less unintentional but the good thing is that with the elder oem say they are here to make amends isn't that beautiful that these oracle cards and the oem stave are speaking with each other so well already because yes, the elder does speak about doing shadow work, self-reflection, working on themselves, thinking about the mistakes that they have done in the past and wanting to uh, make amend, like I said. So if they have hurt you, for example, because they were very possessive towards you, and I can say that because of the Fehu, perhaps like they do put a lot of value onto you, but they might have been slightly possessive as if you were some land that they owned and somebody else stepped on it. So if they've been like that and perhaps they were quite jealous of you, I can tell that could have been the main reason why they have hurt you. Maybe they limited your freedom. Maybe they have been childish and make you jealous by going with somebody else. Things like that. We're going to find out now what are their feelings for you. Anything that we can find out for the highest good of this connection without necessarily being overly nosy we don't want to be invasive invasing their privacy but anything that we are allowed to know for pile number three please and thank you six of swords in the reverse so this is impossibility to move on they cannot forget you okay they find it very hard to start a new relationship, start from zero, leave all of this behind. The Fab of Swords, I feel that this card came out in every reading today, even though there's plenty of shuffling. So there could be some, some collective wounds that need to be healed there, because the Fab of Swords in reverse does speak about making peace. Um, either with internal conflicts or with conflicts with other people just simply deciding that there is no point as well wasting so much energy and time and using harsh words and so there is the acceptance either that we can agree to disagree or simply the, the, the Letting go of the spade, right? Just dropping any tool, dropping any desire for your ego to win the fight, right? So let's see what else for pile number three.
so yes they want to make amends they want to make peace and they can't move on until they make peace with you the lovers this card is gorgeous i absolutely adore it so yes guys i'm gonna throw out a big word here but because we found a lover so i can't see the screen so i don't know if the cards are aligned now um when we find a lover, there is a high chance that we're speaking about our twin flame here, okay? There is a very deep connection here. Your souls are like in, in, in twirling with each other. The, so this could be a pretty difficult connection as well in which you keep coming into union and then separate, coming back to union and then separate. And every time you guys uh, work as a mirror for each other and a catalyzer for healing some specific wounds. So it's like you guys have written a contract before coming onto earth in which you decided, okay, we are going to uh, keep meeting on earth for these specific purposes. Our souls are going to be intertwined and um, we will keep basically touching all of our buttons until we move on from those triggers, okay? So this is the person that your soul has chosen to to heal your triggers. So, but he's also um, a person that, yes, you might have chosen as your romantic partner. <clears throat> And, um, and they have definitely chosen you with this lover's card here so they want to they want to come back with you i feel that for most of you this is a past connection someone that you've been with you've been with in the past whether you were official together or not doesn't really matter you guys have had a romantic connection in the past and there has been definitely some difficult wounds some pain there is a knave of swords which is the page of swords so your person want to communicate with you your person want to be straightforward want to be honest and genuine this time we have the five of cups okay so they want to talk about how regretful they are about the awful mistakes that they have made in the past and they want to change it now with this wheel of fortune let me just go and check the screen because i'm not sure if everything is right mm. okay all good so let's grab some more cards definitely yes there is desire to communicate to talk to to go through all the things from the past and um they're still very they're still in in pain for the things they've done to you they feel very empathic towards you even though in the past they might have not realized how hurtful they were towards you and now the wheel is turning they want to um they want to change their karma basically they yes they they want to do everything that they can everything that is in their hands to sort it out either by they hope that even just a conversation with you would help you feel better even just admitting their wrongs it would be able to give you the closure that you need but i also feel that this person has bigger intention than that it's not just about apologizing this person is looking for a new chance four of pentacles yes they want to create they don't want they can't let go of you i saw the same card in pile number two as well so you might want to have a look at that one if you felt run from it now let's see please and thank you for pile number three how is their person feeling about them We have the seven of cups that came out 
So they're pretty dreamy about the different options that can raise from this situation. They know that your responses can be very different. Like they they are just they can only imagine how you're going to react, uh, but they cannot know for sure how you will react, and so they're kind of imagining all these different scenarios up in their head, wondering how good things go well or wrong. Okay, ten of wands. They definitely want to release some burden. They are fully burdened by this situation. Okay, nine of wands. It's so because they cannot heal this wound until they talk to you. And then be, they've been very close uh, to new connection as well, I feel, with these nine of wands in reverse. They weren't able to um, commit to other people. They weren't able to be genuine with them. A talk being vulnerable with them they were closing their heart because of fear of getting hurt again or fear of hurting the other person again and um and yeah there was this burden of, of how badly they have treated you in the past so they weren't fully able to create some deep connection after you that's what i'm seeing maybe they were just kind of fooling around Feelings for pile number three. A seven of swords. And four of cups in reverse. So they feel like they have changed and they're a new person now. If in the past they might have not had the right values. So they were oftentimes betraying themselves and betraying others, letting people down because they simply didn't have um, the right moral back then. They were perhaps in survival mode or they were repeating old patterns, toxic patterns. They were in touch with themselves for whatever reason. With the seven of swords, they had created a lot of pain around themselves. This is a card of theft. Like, this is someone that takes whatever they need and then they drop you. So, is um, the card of using you, betraying you, like, playing with you. So, a bit of a narcissistic card, really, just... Uh, taking advantage of people, taking whatever they need and then go away, then, then, then just run away. But they want to stop running away from themselves with the Seven of Swords in reverse. They want to make amends again. They want to bring back what they have stolen, if that makes sense. And with the Four of Cups in reverse, they want to be more optimistic about life, about love. They start to feeling like they do deserve love and that changed everything. The, the fact that they feel a lot better with themselves, they feel at ease with themselves, with their personality, with who they are, help them recognizing the true opportunities in life. And, and uh, now they know that time is passing, they're probably getting older, they won't have all of those opportunities being thrown at them every single day. They realize the value of it, they realize how... Um, what enormous value this connection with you has and that uh, is they're not going to be as lucky to find so many other connections like the one they have with you so because of something that happened in their life like they have massively changed now they are maturing they are realizing that they were being extremely extremely immature in the past and negative and uh, kind of depressed perhaps and um, pessimistic and they were taking for granted the opportunities that they were um, being offered to them. So even though they knew that with you, they would have had the opportunity of their life, they still were able to, if you allow me to say, spit on your plate. So now it's this desire to kind of come back onto their steps. So let's see what is going to be their next move. What is going to be their next move? Please and thank you for a pile on the tree.
We're also going to get some charms. Justice in the reverse position. Ten of pentacles. I like that. And the three of swords. Definitely healing heart past heartbreak. So they want to have a heart uh to heart conversation with you and they want to also talk about the future here with the ten of pentacles what you guys can build together they want to recreate a solid network um with you they want to englobe you again in their friends if they if you guys used to be friends and this was not a romantic connection this is this talks about but yeah building some solid network and enjoying the blessing of life together feeling the abundance and also cr creating something solid and long lasting for the future feeling like you guys are part of a family uh now the just is in reverse hmm let me clarify this justice in reverse This could either mean giving you the decision, the power of decision, if you think that they should pay for what they have done, or that then they're just simply closing their eyes and bowing their head and giving you the spade and letting you do what you think you should do. Um, so it's like they, they're coming humbling towards you, being like, if you want to cut my wings, do so. I deserve it. Let me clarify here. Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, this is... If you do not want to have this... If you do not want to include them in your group of friends anymore. If you do not want to have a romantic connection with them anymore. If you just want to cut them out of your life and and so mm, preclude them the possibility to be happy with you again um and to give them the comfort of your love and friendship then do so like they're basically giving you all the uh, they're giving you the last word they're not going to insist Yeah, I feel that it, the ball is in your corner here. So let's see just one couple of last cards. What are their la What are their hopes for the future with you? What are their hopes for the future for Palumbo Tree? Please and thank you. Two of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles in the reverse position. They're, they're not sure yet of what they want exactly from this. Basically, right now they want to make amends. Because they do not know how you're going to react upon it. They find it hard to imagine... Um, what exactly they would like to do in the future. Obviously, with this King of Pentacles, they would like to be serious, but... They cannot uh, put all of the energies in in the, all of the all of their eggs into one basket because they know that it doesn't depend solely upon themselves. It depends upon you as well. The two of pentacles is the knowing that they could either fall on one side of the bridge or the other side of the bridge. Like, um, yeah, this person as well is kind of holding too many fruits. Uh, and. And a lot of them are falling. So this talks about having to choose what to carry. And not being able to carry all of it. So they know that you have the last choice. And based on that, I feel a very humble energy from this King of Pentacles in reverse. They're like, look, if you want me to provide for you to be here by your side. To support you in everything you do. To, uh, to be a solid figure in your life. I will be here. If you do not want me. I will simply step away. And 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 go somewhere else. Like 
I do not want to, um, you know, stalk you and stuff. It's it's your decision. There is Knight of Swords at the bottom of the of the deck as well, which does speak about um, decision indeed and having a very clear mind and pursuing something that you want and delivering a big news as well. This is all. I feel that they're basically waiting for the decision that you're going to take after you are going to receiving the their apologies. And then we have the world after it. So there is definitely a desire to start a new chapter with you. Queen of Cups. So the feelings are there. Uh they're just kinda there's hanged men as well. So they're just waiting. They're they're they will just wait after Try and make amends and talking to you. They will simply wait until you will make a decision. Now, let me grab a few charms. And see what else can we find out about this. For pile number three. What do we have here? The letter Y and I. Okay, so there is a couple of feet to... I always say with this feet that the person has short legs, so can't really make a big step, cannot really make a big move. They're kind of stuck there. And again, I feel that is because the last word is on you. But definitely this speak about making some small steps towards um, a different outcome. There is the owl. So definitely talks about them having matured, being wiser, uh, older. Uh, definitely, definitely more ad adult version of themselves. There is blah 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 so this is definitely a desire to talk with you this is another confirm that they want to chat with you there is a chalk and this uh, to me talks about being able to write something then deleting and then writing it again so this is again possibility to write your destiny write your future if it doesn't work out for you write it again just adjust it to yourself like it's not set in stone basically whatever things is is been said in the past they don't want it to be set in stone they yeah again there is this desire for them to have a new chance to rewrite the um, the end to rewrite the end basically yes there is this symbol that to me reminds me of a full moon so they want to be very honest about what's going on, what's been going on in their subconscious. They want to spread a light over things that they have never said to you. If there's been some secrets, they want to finally share them with you, being fully, fully honest. We have another letter, the C. So C, Y, I. They could be initials of your names. There's a tiny little pebble that is rounded so this talks to me about themselves being so it's like the the heart maybe it was a lot harder in the past but then the, the, the life simply made it smoother okay so now they are they're softer they're more tolerant they are more open to talk about their feelings they're more empathetic towards others so life definitely mold them we have cancer so this talks about being very sensitive having feelings for you being empathic and wanting to nourish you also desire to find their home feeling like you are their home oh what do we have here the lid or the cap of a bottle and there is uh oh my god what's the name of it in english a uh, ball there is a ball on it so definitely stubborn so mm. 
this is earth energy pentacle energy as well so i feel that you can trust them you can trust their words you can trust their intention okay but at the same time there is meh here so they're like well life is kind of meh without you that's what i'm seeing here without the connection i used to have with you and they have faith there is a little i don't know saint here it's like they're praying for this to work but they also know that they cannot force it so that's everything i'm seeing for you guys let me know if it resonated a lot to hear your thoughts on this and the answer to each one of your comments don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done it yet hit the notification bell down below if you uh, want to be no notified anytime that I publish a new video check out in the info box below all the ways that you have to support this channel there is a thanks button paypal donation button you can book a private reading with me you can buy these decks from the links I have um yeah plenty of other ways you can buy this album set from me if you're interested simply drop me an email and i'll give you all the infos or check my social medias as well so you can find more information about them and that would be everything i hope to see you again in the next video sending you big hugs and much love bye bye guys